that other bullshit PlayStation trophy. Let me tell you about that other bullshit PlayStation trophy in on Metal on the PS4, and it is, of course, Splash Damage Trophy, which requires you to let Splash Mike destroy all the crates and trucks at the barracks during the boss fight. So this is basically the second phase of the boss fight against Mike, after you defeat him on the turret by lobbing all of the grenades at his head, which strangely only makes him dizzy, he then runs away into the next area off the top of the screen, and after following him, you get locked in this parking uh, bay area which is full of trucks and crates and various other things for you to basically get blown up by Mike's giant fucking tank that he comes out with Jesus Christ Metal Gear Solid throwback anyone well unfortunately for us we're not Solid Snake at this point so we've got to just try and avoid getting hit by the tanks rockets but also lining ourselves up so that we can hide behind the crates or the trucks in the area so that the tank can actually blow them up and make sure you don't get run over by the tank as that is an instant game over so essentially it's a game of cat and mouse where you just lure the tank to shoot at you and then roll out the way so that it blows up the thing that you are standing behind and you just have to basically repeat this process but it can take a while as it takes a while for the tank to reload its bullet every time it shoots a rocket so you'll have to be waiting around uh, for the tank to shoot again but this gives you a chance to move across the area to get behind or in front of the next thing however it sucks when you've waited for him to reload and when he fires a rocket at you it doesn't actually blow up the thing that you stood by even if it's like right on top of it sometimes it just won't blow up and because of the long nature of this fight because of this trophy it gets really frustrating when that happens like look at this one here it, the rocket blatantly hits the front of the truck yet it doesn't even blow up and i get hit what a load of bullshit man what were they shut the fuck up shit smear i'm not a shit yes you are no no i'm not so one of the bullshit things about this trophy is that it actually gets harder to do the further you get into this boss fight, the longer you're in this area and have had the tank blowing up the crates or the trucks, the harder it gets because there's less things to hide behind and when you've only got a few left and they're just scattered around the far ends of the area, it can be quite hard to get over there in time to avoid the rockets and get the things blown up. So you're at greater risk of dying the later into this fight you are in terms of how much uh, junk is left in the area to blow up and you're probably looking at around five minutes of being in this fight waiting for the tank to slowly blow up everything in the area in order to get the trophy so the last thing you want to happen is to die right at the end no god please no 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 Oh, are you kidding me? That is bullshit. I should be able to roll in the gap there. Fucking bollocks. So that meant I had to start yet again with this fucking boss fight and slowly wait for him to blow up everything. But at this point, I was really pissed off. So I just made a stupid fucking mistake right at the start. Which, after spending so much time trying to get this trophy, pushes you right to the edge, I tell you. So this trophy isn't one that is like super difficult to do, it's just made quite frustrating by the fact that the tank takes a long time to reload and fire another rocket, so that the whole process of clearing the whole area of crates and trucks takes quite a while, and that can be rather frustrating when you die to a cheap rocket that comes out of nowhere and catches you, or you die when you're healing or something like that. So it just it's just a long, boring process of slowly waiting for him to blow up everything. If you could fire at the trucks or crates yourself and blow them up too with grenades or something to make it a little bit quicker, it wouldn't be as bad. But the fact that you have to slowly wait for the tank to do it just makes it more frustrating. And you also need to make sure you're still hitting the tank as you go along so that by the time he has cleared everything out and there's no cover left, you haven't got a tank with a full health bar left to take out. When the tank's health drops to a certain point, he then changes his attacks. Are you fucking kidding me? So at this late stage, you're now left dealing with machine gun fire as well as the rockets. 
so it's even more pressurized so maybe you don't want to take his health all the way down but again if you want to just carry on with the game and not have to restart you're going to want to do that anyway so it just makes it even harder so you just keep running around trying to find the last few bits of things to blow up all the while avoiding the tank's machine gun fire and the rockets and desperately hoping that you've got enough bandages and health packs left to heal yourself and survive this fight just a little bit longer though eventually with a bit of practice and a bit of patience well a lot of patience you will find that you only got a couple more things left to blow up and eventually the tank will take those out and you will get the trophy but my god it's one of the more frustrating boss uh, tr related trophies in the game the one with the flamethrower in the sewers wasn't that bad it was quite a cool fight but this one you're not really fighting the boss you're just waiting for him to blow up everything and that just kind of sucks to be fair it's a bit of a shit trophy and whatever you do make sure once you do get the trophy you don't panic and end up dying like i did because that'll mean you have to do the whole fight over again to progress through the game and get to the end of the chapter Ugh. I would have liked one where maybe you can only kill it with a certain weapon or something or you know try and defeat the tank without it blowing up anything maybe that would have been better or maybe not actually that would have been worse <laughs> what was the fucking thinking there that would have been a lot worse trying to do this tank boss without him blowing up anything would have been a fucking nightmare but yeah as it stands the, the trophy itself it's just it's a frustrating one to be fair in an otherwise awesome game and it's just a long-winded and boring one which is why i think it's bullshit but yeah everyone's different what do you think which was your worst trophy in this game let me know in the comments below thanks for watching and i'll see you next time